Yes, um, what, do you want to, what do you want to achieve tonight? Well, I want to talk directly with the American people, exactly as I have in the uh, first three debates and in the forum in South Carolina. I want to talk about what do we do to create jobs, what do we do to balance the budget, and what do we do about national security. And I hope we'll get questions that allow us to do that. Social security is going to be a big issue again tonight, I feel. Uh, how would you uh, fix the problem, or does the problem need fixing? Uh, of course the problem needs fixing. When, the other, when President Obama twice in July threatens to not pay Social Security checks, you know leaving politicians in charge is wrong. Uh, I would say everybody over 40 years of age is guaranteed the current program if that's what they want. Everybody under 40 years of age has the opportunity to have a personal Social Security savings account that they control, not the politicians, that they're able to build up interest over their working lifetime. They'll have two and a half to three times as much money, uh, and it will be a dramatically better system than the current system. Uh, but it ought to be optional. People, are, I don't believe in coercing people. And people who are over 40, if they want the new system, can have it. But if they prefer to stay in the old system, they should be told to relax. Nobody's going to take away your Social Security. Mr. Davis, you've been awfully um, combative with the media at these debates um, most recently, um, especially even with uh, Fox even during, during the last debate. Um, how do you plan on really going into the Well, look, I, you know, Wolf Blitzer told me after the last debate that he was surprised that I didn't attack him. <laughs> And I said, Wolf, I, I said, Wolf, you, I thought you did a very fair debate. Uh, the only two times I've been really aggressive were when uh, I thought inappropriate gotcha questions after we had been lectured about talking without our talking points. Mm -hmm. uh, and then second was when the MSNBC debate went way out of its way to try to pick a fight between Perry and Romney. Perry and Romney will get into fights on their own. We don't need the news media decide, defining for us an effort to divide the Republican Party and protect Barack Obama. Oh, okay. Should Florida, the two of them Florida, be fighting? Should, should, should the two of them be Florida, fighting? Florida rising star Marco Rubio had said, you know, today someone might stick out, might say something that would swing the Central Florida I-4 corridor voters, one of the most important sectors of the country. What are you going to say tonight to get out of that Romney-Perry fight? I'm not going to worry about it. I think people, frankly, are going to be pretty bored pretty fast. But, you know, they don't want candidates to sound like seventh graders arguing with each other. They want candidates who look at, at, at what's happening in America, offer real solutions, focus in a positive way on talking to American people. Look at Marco's campaign for the Senate. He did a great job of staying focused in a positive way on what needed to be said, and he was rewarded with a Senate seat, which he's earned by being a, a brilliant leader in his own right. Thank you. Thank you.